So, good old ninth floor at the building, one of the buildings I do. This building is fun. So basically, we are going to the west side chiller unit. So we gotta go up this steep stairwell. Well, actually, this is the east side system. Scary shit. That is a, a room I don't like. You fall, you're dead. All the panel covers are gone. I worked on this a few times. Oh, no. Yeah. Good little unit. So that's for the west side. We're going... I'm sorry, that's for the east side. We're going to the west side. Uh, go up this crappy ladder into the lower motor room for the elevators. The elevators are just replaced uh, a few months ago. Should have seen this before. There is like this banks of old contactors, everything from the 1930s and 40s. So this is nice. There's the old schematics for the original elevator system. I mean that tells you how crazy it is. Page after page after page. But work our way up. This is all the chemicals for the chillers feeding in to the feeders. Obviously a compressor, a dryer for the pneumatic system of this building. This building runs on the old pneumatics. This is the original water tank. Back in the days before they had water pressure, they'd pump it into this tank and gravity would just feed this entire building with water. Obviously this is no longer used, just a hunk of still up here. Alrighty. So now we're entering the main blower room for the east side. So this is the way old buildings did it. There is no return air for the building. Gotta pull this door open. So we're actually walking into a blower compartment. About a million times larger than the ones you see in a furnace. So we are inside a blower compartment. Obviously, as we talked about, here's the old pneumatics. So, got our discharge air. I wouldn't call this really return air. We got our outside air. How this works is our outside air is pulled in. This building, prior to having air conditioning installed, so right here we got ourselves a, a 10 foot by 15 foot wide slab coil. Operated by liquid line solenoid valves to stage it. Each slab, solenoid valve, solenoid valve, and way up high is another solenoid valve. So you got three staging. These, my friends, are the water wheels. In Utah, we don't have a lot of humidity. This was the early form of cooling. They were bringing that outdoor air through. These water wheels have water running through them that basically add moisture, cool the air, then that cool air is pulled into this blower. That blower then shoots it through and down into the building. This system will pretty much maintain building temp up until mid-June. Once we start getting over about 90 degrees, these are shut down because you don't want to run at humidity to a system at the same time we're running the DX chiller. So when this starts running, these shut down, outdoor air is pulled through these still. Outdoor air is pulled through the blower, this monster blower here. Then through the coil, down in. Where does this coil go? That's the fun part. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this door or we're never gonna get outside.
you're afraid of heights, this isn't the place. We are now out on a ledge overlooking the city. And we still gotta go up more. So we're gonna go ahead and head up. That's a drop you don't wanna make. That's a ledge. Here's the air-cooled system. And a drop you don't want to make. So in the reference, we're up 10 and a half, 11 stories up. 10 story drop off this ledge. 10 story drop off that ledge. And this ledge isn't too bad because down below there is that device. Think of a swamp cooler, evaporative cooler at your house in the desert. Times it by five, six hundred. That's another big old swamp cooler, big old chiller system that just cools the air, cools the water, sends it back to those water wheels to keep those water, uh, the water in the water wheels nice and cool when we're doing operating that system. The reason I'm here today. bad boy it looks like it's doing all right but it's actually running reverse because the motor's dead these three guys are running full bore pulling the air back through this and running this backwards so I got a condenser fan motor replace up here so the joys are that little maze of stuff those that little maze of uh, pathways and whatnot I got to haul tools motors and everything up through that way so thought I'd give you guys a quick tour. Sad part is the guy that runs this building, his name's actually I won't say his name, but he, being a vet, he usually runs a flag up there, but the rope broke a long time ago. So I'm trying to figure out how ballsy I am to shimmy up that to replace the rope on that flagpole up there. I don't know. Well, welcome to commercial life. <laughs> <laughs> 